I came across a piece of news. Jeff Novinsky was nominated for a World MMA Award. And I'll tell you the award that Novinsky would win hand down. Hands down, it was the most underappreciated guy in MMA of all of 2018. Do you guys remember how 2018 ended? That was when John Jones was going to fight Gustafson in Nevada. It gets moved on a week notice. Boom, they go out to California. So Novinsky has to come out and try to explain to people exactly what happened. Of which he was 100% correct. He got 100% abused for coming out with this information. And then about two weeks later, other administrators, other administrative bodies, other athletes, other experts all started to come to the table with a little bit more time to take a deep breath, a little bit more time to analyze and form opinions. And they all came to the same opinion that Jeff had come to originally in two weeks earlier. But I never saw any of those stories correcting themselves. I never saw them come out and go, okay, now that we don't have a knee-jerk reaction, now that we've really let sophisticated people dig into this, we all come to the same opinion that he came to two weeks ago, but we're not going to apologize for the way that we treated him anyway. So good luck with Jeff winning his war. You know, I'll tell you something else about Novinsky. Not only is he very good at what he does, which is a very unique field. I mean, it's a very, very unique language that he's submersed and inundated himself in. But he also happens to be nice. That's not a job requirement. Him answering his phone, him returning emails, him getting good information into people's hands. That's his job. He doesn't have to be nice. He just happens that he is nice. I think it's about time somebody said something nice about him in return. I'll tell you though, there's really a couple of schools of thought for people that are using performance enhancers. And the one is that they're dirty, rotten scumbags and they're trying to get out, uh, get away with something. And the other school of thought is, hey, there's so many rules out here and they're so sensitive and the rules are changing, and the procedures are becoming even more enhanced, that we want to make sure that we can get information to people. Instead of deciding if you're in violation of one of these many, many rules, we're just going to throw you out. Instead of doing that, we're going to do, do the other, which is we're going to make sure that you have the information. Because this whole, hey, silly me, tainted supplement, oh, I didn't know, oh, is that on the band? As annoying as that is, guys, it's also a very real thing. You're seeing some guys that are looking around going, that's banned? Since when? Fair question. Things aren't banned until they're banned. They aren't on the list until they're put on the list. So when you have somebody like Novinsky that will answer those calls, and I can tell you, not for nothing, he helps guys in other organizations too. I know guys that are not with the UFC that have questions, can get a hold of him, and boom, he handles it. He takes their call. I've heard things like, oh, he's, he's a UFC shill. He's paid for by the UFC. Yeah, guess what? He's got a job. Yes, he has a job somewhere. Somewhere somebody pays him. That's true. But it's also true when he comes out and tells you that he has a good faith approach to helping the entire industry. That's also accurate. And I feel like that's something that, that, that he doesn't get credit for. And I hope he does well. I hope he does well, and I hope he, I, I hope he gets a lot of your votes. Let's see if he can win the award.